This is the Grumman LLV, better known as the mail truck. And this is my Grumman LLV. It's the coolest thing I've ever bought. The LLV was of course best known as the official vehicle of the US Postal Service from 1987 up until 2009 when they pushed that back and kept driving them until 2017 when they pushed it back and kept driving them until 2023 where you can still see plenty of them driving around today. LLV stands for long life vehicle and they sure put that to the test. The LLV is a 1990s two door rear wheel drive right hand drive icon with a naturally aspirated four cylinder engine. It's based on the Chevy S10 Blazer, has a whole 90 horsepower, and it gets about 17 miles to the gallon, optimistically. It has a three-speed automatic transmission that doesn't really want to go much above 50 miles per hour, and a very squishy suspension. They catch on fire too, rarely, but not rarely enough for catching on fire. So by most objective measures, it's not very good. And yet, subjectively, it's the best. Like, just take, take a listen. I've been classically conditioned by the sounds of these sliding doors for all 26 years I've been alive. This might be the most recognizable vehicle in America. And yet, in private hands, they're exceedingly rare. There are a handful of various reviews, tours, and discussions online, and they come back to pretty much just the same two or three trucks. I've done my homework. This is my special interest of the week. To my knowledge, nearly all of them that make it out of the post office are immediately sent to be crushed. Anyway, I bought this one from a guy whose uncle worked for the post office for about 20 years, he said, and this fellow traded him two old dump trucks for it. Honestly, if that's not provenance, I don't know what is. A few more quirks before we get to a hopefully satisfying cleaning montage. It has a large mail table in the passenger side instead of a passenger seat. It's a fun quirk, but uh, for practicality, I'll definitely be installing a passenger seat in the near future. Here's the horn, since I'd never heard one honk before. The button is fiddly, uh, but it's a pretty good sounding horn. The body is famously made of aluminum by aircraft manufacturer Grumman, making it uh, surprisingly lightweight and immune to rust. This particular one also has a pretty unusual livery, uh, this being unique to the civilian or municipality model rather than the more iconic red, white, and blue that we've all seen. In any case, the paint is in terrible condition, which works out all right because I can't legally drive it around as long as it says US mail on the side. I have a couple paint job ideas, but if you have any ideas, please leave a comment because I'm open to anything. Anyway, this thing was filthy. Let's get to a cleaning montage. <laughs> 